All right, after you log into Windows the first time, the first thing that you're going to see is your desktop or home page. So this is just a brief tour of exactly what you're looking at here. So in the bottom left corner, if you are coming from basically any other Windows operating system, you're going to find access to something that is quite different from what you've seen before. So in Windows 7, you had your start menu, same with Windows Vista and XP. In Windows 8, this would take you to the start screen. This is the new start menu. So from here, you're going to have something quite different, no matter what operating system you are coming from. Along the left side, you're going to have access to some things that are used fairly frequently here. So most used apps, uh, and then a few shortcuts to some things that are used very frequently. To access the li full list of all of your applications, you'll click on that All Apps button. And then up here is your profile, which will allow you to sign in and out. If I had multiple users, I'd be able to switch between those users here. On the right side of the Start menu are your Live Tiles. Now you don't have to have these here, you could unpin all of them, but uh, I like to use them. Also just want to mention really briefly that you can resize the Start menu. So it's up to you how wide you want it to be, and you could also make it a bit taller if you'd like. Brand new to this operating system also is Cortana. Cortana is essentially your Windows search. So in the past, Windows has always had a search feature, but this new search feature with Cortana enables some interesting personalized features. So right here, what you're seeing is available if you are using a Microsoft account. There's, it basically serves up information to you automatically based on what it understands your interests are, and you can actually update those interests manually. So this can be used for web searches and for local searches on your machine. So if you're looking for an application, you can just go ahead and type the name of that application in and you'll be able to find it. And then if you are looking for maybe a file or a folder, you can click on My Stuff to go ahead and search in your folders for that specific file or folder. And then you could also just hit Web here and it will pull up a web search based on what you just typed there. It's also possible to use this using voice recognition, so you can tap the microphone in order to enable that. Brand new to Windows 10 is Virtual Desktops. This button here takes you into your task view, which shows you the multiple desktops that you have open, and then you can open additional desktops. Now, if I was on this desktop and I had multiple applications open, which I'll go ahead and do here, when you enter task view, you can also see the applications that are open currently, visually. You can also get to this screen by simply clicking on the Windows key and then the tab button and it will bring that up. So the remainder of the taskbar will be familiar. You'll see the, any applications that you have open down here. And then over here you have your battery, your network settings, your volume, your action center, which is brand new. All of your notifications from different apps will be served up right here. And then you can also access some quick settings. And lastly, you have your language and then your calendar date and time. I also want to mention that some of you may be very used to having access to a number of things right here on your desktop, like the recycle bin. That's something that's typically there. Now, if you did want to have access to your files, like my computer or your network settings, some of you may be used to that, you can go ahead and add those there manually. So I'll show you how to do that. What you want to do is right click on your desktop, hit personalize, go to themes, and then click on desktop icon settings. Then you can enable computer, user files, control panel, network, all of those can then be applied right there. That's it for your home page. Thanks for watching.